So our today's topic is Euler's Phi function. What is Euler's Phi function? So to understand this topic, we should first know what is the meaning of the term relatively prime. So if we take any two natural numbers, suppose A and B, and if the greatest common difference between these two number is one, then A and B are said to be relatively prime. If for an example, if we take two, A is equals to and B is equals to five, and if we find the greatest common difference between the A, greatest common difference of two and five, we get that the greatest common difference of two and five is one. So this is how we represent GCD. This is not a greatest common divisor. Greatest common divisor of two and five is one. So similarly, for more examples, we can say GCD of nine and three is here. The three is the largest number which divides nine as well as three. So here its GCD will be three. So this is what we call greatest common divisor. Now if the number which has the greatest common divisor as one, then those numbers are known as relatively prime numbers. Now comes to what is Euler's phi function. So Euler's phi function is denoted by phi n, where n is the natural number of which we have to find. So phi n is defined as number of natural numbers less than or sometimes equals to so equal to the case of equal to will arise only with one and relatively prime to n now the number n so if for an example if we take phi 2 then the number less than 2 and the relatively prime means the greatest common divisor must be one that is only one so if we consider two then the greatest common divisor of two and two will be two so we cannot take two because we need those numbers which have greatest common divisor as one so for more example we can say five four is equals to so if we see the numbers less than four are one two three and four less than or equals to so if we see 4 and 1, then it is relatively prime. If we see 2 and 4, then the GCD of 2 and 4 is 2. So we cannot take it. So if Similarly, if 3 and 4 is taken, then it gives 3. So total number of numbers is 2. We write only the counting of numbers. We do not write numbers. Similarly, we can find any, if we can find for any numbers. Now, well, how can we find these are small numbers so we can find easily what about the big numbers so there are some methods to find it the easiest way to find number of numbers which is less than or equal less than or equal to or relatively prime to that number is given by suppose we take any number n and we can prime factorize it into some p to the power a q to the power b r to the power c and so on here p q r and so on are prime numbers and a b c are natural numbers then phi n is equals to n into 1 minus 1 upon p 1 minus 1 upon q, 1 minus 1 upon r and so on. Now we can see we can see different examples. Suppose we have to find phi 24. So for that we have to firstly prime factorize it. So if we prime factorize it we get 6. Again from 2 we get 3. Then we can write here 2 cube into 3. So here we can say P is 2 and Q is 3. So 
so we can use the formula as 524 is equals to 24 times 1 minus 1 upon 2 1 minus 1 upon 3 1 upon 2 3 minus 1 that is 2 upon 3 so 3 8 times and 2 4 times means there are total 8 numbers which are relatively prime to 24 and less than 24 so this is all about Euler's phi function we can also say some numbers like if any number is a prime number say 7 then phi 7 is equals to 6 means phi n is equals to n minus 1 for all n being prime so here are some properties of Euler's phi function the first property as I have discussed that if n is prime then phi n is equals to n minus 1 the second property is if the greatest common divisor of m into n is equals of m and n is equals to 1 then phi of m into n is equals to phi m times phi n so this is also a very important property now the third property is if p is a prime number and uh, k is any positive integer then phi of p power k is equals to p power k minus p power k minus 1 or we can reduce it to p power k minus 1 and p minus 1 hence this is all about the Euler's phi function.